Hello everyone. Today we have Shashank with us. He is one of our course enrolled student, and uh, he is here to share his learning journey throughout the gate preparation. So, hi Shashank. Welcome. Hello. Uh, so, please tell us about yourself. I am Shashank Kate. I am pursuing my BTEC from IIT DAVB Indore. Okay. So, this is your fourth year. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like this is the first time you are appearing for the gate exam or you have uh, given in 2021 as well? I have given in 2021. Okay, so how was your experience actually? So, the first time preparation, this time preparation, how you have covered everything, how you overcome your mistakes? So, the first time it was just uh, the, after the, it is announced that it will be allowed for the third year. So, I started late around September. So it was not complete syllabus, but I managed the good numbers that time as well. But this time I prepared completely and got a good rank. Because the first time was just a trial basis. Well, I yeah. think, right? the time, how, what was your schedule? Like uh, what was the strategy to complete the course and uh, then test series? How you have followed the schedule? So as I have given the last year. So I have knowledge of every subject, what it is and what I'm good at. So mm -hmm. this time I followed, so I completed the good su the subjects which I am good first. So they will be very good by the end. So completing the revisions and the hard ones I completed the later. First I completed the syllabus and then uh, the subjects completed, I started the test series. So like by when you have completed uh, complete syllabus? So for the second time, it should be around November. I took It took me November. Okay, so you have started your test series from November or you have started in like September, October in parallel with your course completion? No, around October I started the test series. Okay, what was your learning strategy with the gate applied rules? Like how you have followed the course and how many, on an average, how many hours you have invested in watching videos? On an average, it's around not more, but four to six hours a day just because it's the limit. So I watched the video first in the morning time and in the afternoon and then in the evening it's revision or the test series. What okay, so you are taking previous year test series in parallel with your course completion? Yeah. Oh, and what about the PYQs? PYQ just uh, with the subject itself. Okay, for the, as, as a practice you question, watching, you are solving PYQs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To get to grasp what I am learned and it's good or... I need to put more time for that. Okay, okay, okay. So, did you find it tedious to manage your gate preparation with the academics, placement, projects, and everything? No, it's no, this time not online. It's easy. <laughs> COVID made it easy. Online. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what was your strategy to follow the test series? Like you started in October. So, did you start with yeah. the topic test or you were focused on the full length test only? No, with the topic wise test because then the missed points are, you can see what you have missed in this yeah. learning, so you can take take it back. In in the full course, you can't do that because there is a lot of question to check and what you have missed, it might not be there. Yeah, so it's better to take subject wise. Yeah, actually, we do learn a lot many topics uh, through questions through test. Yeah. Uh, uh, which we have not studied in uh, while completing the course actually this is true so like, while doing the test series uh, what was the pattern of revision like how many iteration of revision did you had i don't remember exactly how many iteration but by the end it's daily i am going through all my notes okay but then the short notes are there so it's going through them daily okay so uh, did you refer uh, you have made your own notes or you have referred the notes which we have provided? Okay, you're comfortable with your own notes only. Yeah. Actually, differs from person to person. Someone feels like more yeah. comfortable with their own notes. Yeah. It's so, easy, you uh, know what have gone. Uh -huh, exactly. We do write some bullet points here and there, uh, which are like we can be may miss. So definitely handwritten notes are very uh, helpful. At the end point of time when we are doing the revision. Yeah. So what was your strategy uh, for uh, analyzing your mistakes and covering them? Like how do you cover your conceptual gaps if you find any? 
So mostly in the test series when the question is missed and I don't know the concept, first is to raise the ticket and get the solution. What explanation for that? And if it's okay to me that I can understand from that, then it's okay. Then otherwise, search online and find the solutions because textbook is not at that point. You had to go through a lot to find the solution in textbook. Okay, so you have not referred standard textbooks during your preparation while learning in or learning, yeah. Just learning while learning. Learning. Okay. Yeah. So did mentorship help you through your journey? Yeah. So uh, like when you look back at your journey, you find anything you would like to change or you would like to okay, this should I should have done this. Did you find anything like that? In the first year that I completed my syllabus very fastly, so I learned few topics just from the top of top, and I don't have a depth knowledge from them. But when the second time I started to learn, I think I know that. Mm -hmm. So I used to leave them and assuming that I know, but indeed I don't. Mm -hmm. So it's better to sub complete a subject thoroughly, just not to complete it. Huh. So I will change that. Nice, nice. So. Uh... Is there anything you would like to suggest to future aspirants who are like in the same situation as of yours, who are in the fourth year of their BTEC, mm -hmm. having all the pressure and all, and uh, have already appeared for the gate 2021? Sorry, I'm not 2022. <laughs> so, any suggestions for them? Student that you are doing good and believe that the marks would be great and you will get your rank, what you wish for. Just keep the belief in yourself. Yeah, believe in it. Uh, do you find any point in your preparation you felt low and uh, like how do you manage to pull yourself from those situations? So in the low situations, I usually it get to the head because you are trying so hard and still you are not seeing the result. Mm -hmm. So I usually used to go out and leave the studies completely to move my mind from the studies so it will be fresh. And when it's okay, I feel I can do again. So then come back and study and test whatever. Yeah, get some fresh air and distract your mind for some time yeah. to help. True. So, uh, do you have any suggestions for us? Uh, like anything? So for this, I will say the more live sessions will be helpful because in the online, it's very hard to interact with the teachers, mentors, and you just get calls, which is not so good. So online live sessions would be helpful to interact a lot. Okay. So you like the idea of solving problems uh, in the live sessions? Do you enjoy these, uh, these kind of activities? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Asking whether you're looking for uh, doing research in your future or you're looking for the placement at the end? Now it's MTech, so I have to go for the research because at the placement it would be, I have tried this time itself. Okay. So at MTech it should be research. Okay. So as everybody knows for the research, it is best to go with the IIC yes. Bangalore. <laughs> there is no uh, if and but in that. So, yeah, start preparing for your uh, interviews and uh, test, whatever they yeah. have for this time. And this is the actually best time to get yourself prepared. And, uh, yeah, we wish you best of luck for the same. Thank you. Best wishes for your future.